Do you like Adobe Photoshop, but don't have enough money to buy a licensed copy? Well, today is your lucky day, since I am going to introduce you to a free Photoshop clone, and you don't even need to download nor install anything to use it. Let's get on to it. I have Photoshop open here, and this costs money. Well when you open your browser, then go to photop.com, you will be able to use basically the same application, for free, without the need to download and install anything. It looks the same, the keyboard shortcut keys are the same, the user interface is the same, and about 95% of Photoshop's functionalities are also in Photop. I just want to show you the location and file name of the PSD file open here in Photoshop, which we are going to open from Photop. Here it is, the same exact file. Let's open it. Here it is. Photop can open your Photoshop file without any problem. It might take a while for larger files since it still needs to upload it, but it can basically open and edit any Photoshop project files. See the layers here are exactly the same. When we go back to the Photoshop application, let's go to the layers, and let's open the property of the first layer, see the properties here. Now let's open the same layer properties from Photop. There we go, it is the same exact properties. No big difference between the data from Photop as compared to the Photoshop's. If you look at the user interface, Photop also has the same set of tools here, as compared to Photoshop here. It's not a 100% exact match since Photop is based on a lower version of Photoshop, but this still means you can do in Photop all the tools and functions that you can do from Photoshop. The top bar menu is also about 95% the same when you compare Photop to Photoshop. Actually, the whole user interface is also about 95% the same. It is too similar that I worry that Adobe might sue Photop for this. But I do hope they don't, since Photop is a really great free alternative for Photoshop, probably the best one. If you know Photoshop, using Photop will be a breeze. Let's try to create a new project from Photop now. As you can see, even the UI for the creation of a new project is the same from Photoshop's. You have the dimensions here, the DPI, the background type. You also have some templates here on the side, and some dimensions and formats from the bottom part. Let's create a new project. So, even though Photop's UI is web-based, you can use it just like a desktop application. For example, let's pick up a picture from the web here. Let's search for a picture of a bird. You can right-click the picture, then copy image. Then you can easily paste that copied picture to your Photop project. Then, you are free to do all the editing you want to do with it. Let me try to do a selection here, then remove the background. There we go. Since this is just an example, that will be fine for now. No need to edit it perfectly. Just like a desktop application, you can also easily drag and drop a local file from your PC onto your Photop project. There we go. Let's put that layer into the bottom stack here. Then edit the project the way you want, just like using Photoshop. As you can see, the web interface of Photop is not really a factor here when editing. The response of the web interface is really fast, that I always forget that I am working on a web application. For me, the performance has totally no difference when comparing to a locally installed application. It is fast and responsive, sometimes even more responsive than my local Photoshop, to be honest. When you are done editing, you can simply save the file as a PSD, which you can open and edit from a Photoshop application in the future. You can also export your project to any picture format that you want, as you can see in the big list of options here. Really no difference with Photoshop. Let's try adding another layer here for text. Let's change the color here. Add a contour and some shadows here for the text. I also want to show you here that the fonts of Photop is not based on your local fonts. It has its own set of fonts, and this is a lot. This is a huge selection of fonts here from Photop. If you have a local font that you want to use though, and it is not here, then you can't use it. It's probably one of the very few disadvantages of Photop, along with, obviously, you'll need a decent internet connection to be able to use Photop. The text looks good. Let's save it. Now let's open the PSD file we've created from Photoshop. There we go the same exact file that we've created. All the information and data are here. The layers, the effects, the shadows, and all the tiny little bits that we did to the project. That's basically it for this video. I just want to introduce you to Photop, an absolutely free web interface version of Photoshop. You have the same user interface, the same set of tools, same set of menus, same keyboard shortcut keys, and maybe except for those advanced and new features of Photoshop, everything that you can do with Photoshop, you can also do with Photop. If you are familiar with Photoshop, I don't see any learning curve when you use Photop. And did I mention that Photop is absolutely free? Alright. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. 
If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.